Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com. Today we are joined again by Mike from Robart. Mike, tell us what we're going to talk about today and this informative RC video. Yeah, what's going on, Jim? We're going to be continuing our discussion on the robo struts that Robart offers. We're going to be talking about the half inch diameter robo struts. Do you just want to jump right in? Sure, let's do it. All right. So today we're going to be talking about the half inch robo struts. And uh, so this is. Aircrafts weighing 18 to 25 pounds. Okay. And let's go ahead and just bounce the head over here. All right. So the main one is our 670. All right. And Jim, why don't you do a uh, screen share on your side real quick? Um, of the, of of the, the website. Uh, okay. One where, I had you, where I had you before. Okay. So... Yep. The six seven zero. What this is is it's a half inch diameter. So that's the that's the the diameter of the upper strut tube. And you can see if you scroll down, we offer this in a lot of different options. And we start to get into a couple specialty ones up in the very top of that page, um, which is the extra longs. So I want you maximize my screen here, Jim. Perfect. All right. So the 670, like I said before, it's your the diameter of the upper strut tube right here. Our standard 670 is a straight robo strut. Uh, and what we offer on the half inch ones is we start to offer some extra longs. Now, those extra longs, we only offer them in a couple of the 670 um, oleo options. These are two and three quarter inches longer than our standard. Okay. Okay. So one thing that I want to preface to everybody is as you start to use these extra long robo struts, okay, you start to lower the, the, the weight of the aircraft that, that can handle. Got it. Right? Because it's a, basically you have a, a, a big lever or lever, depending on where you're at and who taught you how to speak, right? Is uh, and if you put a 24 pound plane on this, okay, if you put a massive in maxing out the aircraft weight on it, um, that 25 pounds, you may have some performance issues just because that's so much weight on such a long strut. Got it. Okay. So, uh, robo struts here with the and the axle bag comes with your standard axle bag, but uh, a couple of things have started to change on uh, in our axle bag since we've gone up in diameter. Okay, so the first thing you want to notice is the the top is capped off. Got it. So in the last two sizes of robo struts, we've had a gap in here where this has been. Um, empty and you could just easily press in your nose bushings and things like that. All right. For this robo strut, if you want to cut this down, same thing. You'll cut your take your, your clevis pins and your e clips off. This will come out. And then you'll have to cut this down using a pipe cutter. Okay. The pipe cutter will leave a flange on the inside. I think one day what we'll do is you and I will do an informational video on how to do a cut down. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then you will insert the. I'll lose all my set screws so they let everybody know what we got here. And you will insert this plug, this little plastic plug. And what that will do is that will get caught on that flange that you've created okay. with the pipe cutter. Put some 30-minute epoxy in there and some Z-epoxy, and uh, that what's, that's what will hold that in for just doing a uh, just a regular cut down, okay? okay? Now, for your nose bushing, here's your large nose bushing. What you will do is you will cut that off with a cut wheel. Don't use a pipe cutter. We want to use like a, a rotary tool. And you, you want to like do a trim all or Correct. And then you'll press this in and drill and tap for your your set screws that will hold on for a nose gear. Okay. Got it. Your last set screw here is what holds on your axle. 
Okay, these are your axles that come with these. I just want to verify something real quick. Da, 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 da. That these have quarter inch axles. Okay. Okay. And uh, remember the the head on the the axle goes on the outside of the tire. So okay. Just something real. Then you don't have to put a a wheel cl uh, collar or anything on there. So. Right. Keeps it clean. Yep. Tire tire on the outside, set screw on the inside to lock it in. Make sure you put your grind flat on there. Okay. So that's the basics of the 670 series. All right. Let's move these out of the way. What we'll start getting into now is the offsets. So the 671 is available. These long ones really fill up the screen, don't they? Jeez. Um, the 671 is available in a right or a left offset, and we do offer the 671 uh, L or R in an extra long also. Got it. All right. So just something for you to think about the uh, as you're starting to, as the modelers out there are starting to look at some of the different robo struts and you're needing some extra length, we offer that. All right. We offer the the those offsets are available from a three and a half inch wheel all the way up to a five and a quarter. So okay. offsets I'll go up to five and a quarter. Then we go into our forks and our trailing links. The trailing links, I've got the straights, the offsets, and a fork. And this is your standard fork. This half inch standard fork is a great nose gear fork. You see a lot of these are in there. That half inch robo strut can hold up to, uh, especially on a nose gear, you don't have to put a ton of strength into that nose gear because you're landing, you're, you land on your mains and then you touch your nose down. That's why this is a, this is a great gear for the, or a great strut for your nose gears. Got it. All right. Accessories. So basically, you have anything, anyone, whatever want. It looks like uh, we do. We really do. And uh, the the one thing that I do get complaints on, and I'll be honest, you know, most of you have talked to me on the phone. I'm, I'd be as honest as I can. Is the the cut downs on these trying to do the cut downs and things like that, and and some modelers will get frustrated with that. If you do get frustrated with that. We do offer a cut down service here. Huh? Wow. So it, what you'll tell us is the from the, the length from the center of the axle to the top of the robo strut. If you could give us that length, we will do a cut down for you. Uh, and we do offer that as uh, with as an upcharge. Okay. I have to ask, what is the charge? Uh, let me double check that. My my gut's yes, telling me um, fifty bucks, but. Let me double check that for you. I think if it's anywhere around that, that's well worth it. If if you have any uh, uh, concern about doing it yourself, I certainly would feel very comfortable with the company that's uh, selling it to me doing it. Yeah, it's 50 bucks per strut. So I can do a cut down for you, 50 bucks per strut. So if you need that done, you let us know. We'll take care of that just as you call up and you talk to us. Um, or you can put, if you're placing the order online or you're working with a dealer, just let the dealers know that, Hey, I'd like to do a special length on this and they will, um, they can put that into their order. We could do the cut down, send it right to the dealer for you. So on and so forth. Got it. Very right? cool. Um, and then in, in a lot of it and is pressing that nose bushing in that can be difficult and so we'll get that taken care of for you. Uh, accessories wise, we have our gear door brackets. So these become more and more popular. These are very popular uh, in the half inch size. And then we also offer our airline retaining clips, white, gray, or black. Right. Just like all the others. Just like the others. So, uh, and kind of circling back one more time with the, the cut down 
we offer that cut down service for all the lengths of all the different diameters of robo shorts. Got it. So what other questions do you got for me, Jim, while I've got all the products sitting out here? That Any? is everything. Um, the way you can go look at all this stuff is go into the search bar or actually go into robo struts mm -hmm. and uh, go into diameter. And yep. then you can f find the size you need. Today, we're looking at half inch. Yep. And that is how you can find everything there at robart.com. And uh, there is one thing I'm going to ask you to do. If you can cut back to your main camera. Yeah, what's up? So everyone, you're, you're in on this. I'm always hunting for the right graphic for the uh, feature article and the YouTube channel or the YouTube video. So could you hold up a robo strut? Robo strut, sure. Give me a second. I'll put that behind about, the scenes. Hold up a robo strut. Yes. And now we'll smile. <laughs> and that's it. We got it. Okay. So that'll be our our shot uh, that we'll use on all this stuff. There Everyone, I want you to be aware that this is just one of the videos we've done on all the landing, not all of it, but m many of the landing gear pieces that Robart carries. So uh at the end of the video, usually I post a little, where would it be? It would be Link. over there. Yeah, it would be over there. And uh, I usually go back to the, the video we did before this one. And you could chase those links down to follow us all the way back. Or just go to the channel and you'll see all our videos. So if you have questions about uh, my point, if you have questions about other variations of this, we well, you might have a video for it already. So you can go check it out. You got it. All right, everyone. Mike, is there anything else you want to tell the folks out there? Hey, if you got further questions on any of these robo struts, uh, or you got questions on not just about the product, but how to use them, how to install them into your gear, like I said, doing that cut down, I know that can get frustrating to some modelers out there. Just give us a call at 630-524-4370, and Danny and I will get you taken care of. And we're going to do our very best to get you uh, situated. Or if you're working with a dealer or you want to find a dealer in your area that, that might help you out with that, just, just give us a call. Don't get frustrated. We'll take care of you. Many of the things you're looking at were made in the shop right here in um, Illinois. Batavia. In Batavia, Illinois. Yep. Yep. And so um, last week after the show or after the video, I got a little tour, which we were we we're going to do for you guys. So you can go take a look. But I think if you're buying something like this for a plane that you've spent uh, so many hours on, it's great to know it's made in a shop where you can call a person and they can help you and they can customize things like this. Um, it's not something that you find all the time. So you're a rare gem in the RC industry. Yeah. And it's American made products, uh, as you can see, you know. You know, we're proudly made in the USA. We're doing all the cutting. These, so just so this, let me get centered here. This upper strut tube was cut down here in the shop. Okay. Got, the got cap, cap was welded 20 yards from me, 10 yards from me right over here. The, the clevis pin is, was welded here. The, this was all painted. The, the stamping was done about 10 miles from here at a local stamper, okay? The, the oleos, all this down here, this is all welded and machined right here, okay? Um, all the swedging that's done, all the welding, all of this. I mean, this is the only thing that I... I will be straight with you that I don't know that's on here, whether that's it was manufactured in the U S which I actually think it is, is the spring inside right. of here. Right. That, cause that's a purchase part. Uh, the, the clevis pins and the eclipse are purchased parts. Uh, it's going to be very hard for us to make some of those. Um, so in those, but all of this, this it's assembled in the, the office right behind me over here. So when you want to look for an American-made part, you're looking at it right here. Right. And I know that means a lot to a lot of people out there. there yeah, you very go. much so. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And uh, be sure to click the bell and subscribe. And that helps the channel and helps 
Mike at Robart and helps me. So, uh, and the hobby, I reckon. So do that. And Mike, thanks so much for your time and sharing all this stuff with us. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye everybody.